Key regional players were also quick to react to North Korea's latest provocation. The U.S. and Japan confirmed that the missile launches posed no threat to them. China and Russia, however, have not made direct assessments yet. Kan Yong-woo has the details. Washington confirmed North Korea's missile launches. NBC News cited two senior U.S. officials as saying Wednesday that the projectiles were short-range missiles. According to CNN, a U.S. official said the missiles posed no threat to the U.S. or its allies and fell into the sea. Quoting a senior official in the Trump administration, CNBC reported that the White House is aware of reports of the launches and will continue to monitor the situation. The Pentagon, however, did not immediately respond to CNBC's request for comment. Meanwhile, according to the Japan Times, Tokyo's defense ministry said the launches did not land in Japan's territorial waters. It added that Prime Minister Shinzo Abe said Tokyo will continue to closely cooperate with the U.S. and others without mentioning South Korea. Also, according to the report, Tokyo's defense minister Takeshi Iwaya said it's very regrettable that North Korea is launching missiles again in violation of U.N. Security Council resolutions. Meanwhile, officials in Beijing and Moscow have not made any direct assessment or comment. According to Reuters, the Chinese foreign ministry said Beijing hopes the U.S. and North Korea will make positive efforts to promote denuclearization as well as long-term peace and stability. Russia media outlets quickly reported on the launches, but there have been no official statements from Moscow. Kan Yong-woo, Arirang News.